Welcome everybody to another Gwentcast. This is Hamilwolf coming at you with another match from Boundless, our Dwarf King. Boundless, previously on our channel, showing us how to play dwarves, giving us a master class and how to pilot this brand new dwarf deck. He'll kick a pyrotechnician and a full moon potion, and we'll see him decline to take another mulligan. Losing the coin flip, Boundless will have to play first. Likely opening with Operator, so Operator gives a copy of a bronze card in your hand, both to you and your opponent. With the Dwarven Agitator coming out with the Gold Immunity Patch, it, Operator became very good in the Dwarf deck. Agitator pulls a random bronze dwarf from your deck, so the two power bronze unit is only useful in a deck that runs bronze dwarfs. So as you can see, the Nilfgaard player won't be running any dwarfs, so the Operator card that was given to the Nilfgaard player will be dead this round. <sighs> Got a hot Mahaka Marauder, a the response to the Impera Brigade. We'll see what the Nilfgaard player has. The Raw Tosser on the Marauder row an attempt to blow up the Marauder, but that would be spoiled by Dwarven Agitator. Dwarven Agitator will pull uh, another Marauder a onto the battlefield. But Assassination coming down to take care of both Marauders. 10 to 14, a 4 power lead for the Spies player. We'll see how Boundless wants to react to this Cal Carcass if he can sacrifice two power to it, or instead it looks like he's going to be able to pull a Dwarven Mercenary off of that Agitator to pull the Agitator that was in danger of being destroyed by the Cal Carcass, so Rot Tosser will get nothing out of his deploy ability. 21 to 14, a 7 point lead for the Dwarf player. We'll see if the Spies player will be able to catch up in this round. A few options that we might see from the Nilfgaard player. We might see another Impera Brigade come down. We may see an Emissary come down. If Emissary is unavailable for snap decisions, he may opt to play his John Calviet. So the rope ticking down, an Emissary coming from the Spice player finds Impera Brigade. 23 to 24, one point lead for the Spice player. A third Dwarven Agitator coming down for Boundless, giving us a Got Mark a of Marauder. For Gwent. Thirty-three to twenty-four. We'll see if the Spice player can close that gap. Very likely, we'll be able to. Vesmir very strong in the Dwarf deck because it can pull full Moon Potion. So full Moon Potion will give. Six things, if not by strength, plus two power, but stealth. an extra plus two power to every Mahaka Marauder that's on the battlefield. So we will shit. see this Vesmir come down in full motion, full moon potion. We'll show its strength, giving four points to Mahaka Marauder, fifty-three to thirty-seven. The score. Spice player ups to the leader, God. and we'll find. And a emissary. shame I have no time. And we'll see what Emissary finds after pumping two Impera Brigades. I An Infiltrator. Infiltrator will toggle the spine status of the Operator. That is the second highest powered unit on the Dwarf side of the battlefield, so very likely a Menno on the horizon here for the Spies player. Let's see how Boundless wants to respond to that. Our good friend Boober Boo coming in, finding us a I've Dennis Kramer. So Dennis Kramer will give plus one to all dwarves wherever they are, but it'll actually give plus three to Mahaka Marauders. You'll see here how important the Marauders are to this dwarf deck, but unfortunately I think that that Mahaka Marauder is doomed to be a Menno. Rainfard coming in, likely finding Cantarella. And Cantarella will in see. fact be found, which will likely induce a pass from the Dwarf player. If the Dwarf player plays out another card, the Spice player will have the option to pass and be two cards up. Whereas if Boundless passes here, 
the spy spider might not be able to close the entire 19 point gap. So let's see if the spy spider can close 19 points in one card. If they can, that will be a significant advantage as this game goes on, as they will be able to drive past round two and take a card off of Boundless. The Spice player debating on whether or not they can do this. Maybe doing some math, adding up a third Impera Brigade, wondering if they should commit the third Impera Brigade as committing three Impera Brigades in round one is very dangerous for the Spice deck as they might not have any tempo left to play in rounds two or three. And that Emissary bringing a, an Impera Brigade just enough points, exactly one point, to win round one for the Spies player. So unfortunately, our Dwarf King will have to play down a card going into round three, most likely. We'll see that if the Spies player wants to take advantage of that and take a free card off the Boundless, and he does. So Pyrotechnician coming in to take down round two. And we will move into round three with the dwarf player having to go first and having to be down a card. So let's see, those are some very difficult odds to overcome. A lot of power in this drought though, so this drought may be able to carry Boundless to victory. Let's see what Boundless opts to do here. The only opening play that I really see is Isengrim. Yeah, Isengrim's the only thing they guarantee, so we don't get any wasted value on this first turn while our opponent has nothing on the field. So Isengrim will find Teruvial. Teruvial, a hidden eight points right I now. Always find a way in. Infiltrator comes down and toggles the spying status of that Isengrim. We'll very likely see Drought, Drought coming in for the Dwarf player. Dealing 2 damage to that Infiltrator, and unfortunately, Venomar comes in to cure the Drought, does a little Rain Dance, brings on a lot of pain for Boundless. I think Boundless was leaning really heavy on that Drought. For the Emperor! Dwarf and Mercenary coming in for Boundless, and Cynthia. Revealing a 9 powered unit going up to 14. That golem that Cynthia brought with her will immediately be dealt with via the Pyrotechnician. Pyrotechnician getting its full 15 value when it came down that turn. So let's see what the Spies player wants to do here. Spice player has a couple of options. Emissary is very strong. Hovering a Dwarven Agitator for the top to play. And Pyrotechnician being a 12 point swing for that Pick of Varo Novice. And we'll see Dwarven Mercenary come in and move a unit to the middle row to help stopped. ensure that Ruvial gets its full value. And Mena is shooting oh, down Isengrim. We'll see Zoltan Shive setting up the full value for Teruvial. So Teruvial will be a full 14 points and Enough. will also be a huge tempo swing with this Marigold's Hailstorm. Hailstorm coming down. Not going to be enough points here, I think, unfortunately, for the Dwarf player. 13 to 33, 20 points that down. Was actually, rather impressive. For the dwarf player, so that spells out the end for Boundless. Unfortunately, our dwarf king has lost this match, but really a good demonstration on how to play the dwarf deck and ways to navigate the spice matchup. So thank you, Boundless, for sending in this video. If you have a video that you'd like to send in, go ahead and send that over to hamilwolfgwent at gmail.com. If you're unsure how to submit a video, how to record it, how to upload it, you can go ahead and check out a video that I'll have linked in the description showing you how to do that. Thank you everybody, this is Hamilwolf, signing off.